So in this video, we're going to be looking at an introduction to structural isomerism. Now, what structural isomerism means is that, say for example, we have a molecule here of, uh, let's say, pentane. We have pentane here. And what a structural isomer is, is a molecule that has the same molecular formula. So this is a molecular formula here, molecular formula. And it's a molecule that has the same molecular formula of another molecule, but has a different structural, structural formula, it has a different structure. So for example, this here, you would most commonly draw this now I'm going to be using skeletal formula and displayed formula. Um, I'll start off using displayed formula and then I'll progress to using skeletal formula. So you'll most commonly identify this molecular formula with pentane that I am drawing right here. H, 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 so many H's, right. However, and you can see, you know, there's one, two, three carbons for five, and then you have your 12 hydrogens, so that's C5H12, and yes, this fits the molecular formula. However, what if we, what if we draw this molecule? Like this. What if we draw this molecule? So I'm just going to put in the hydrogens here. It'll it'll get easier as I it'll get quicker as I draw skeletal formula. But just for now, I'm going to use displayed formula. That's what I mean by displayed formula. So what if I draw this? Well, this has got one, two, three, four, five carbons, C five, and this has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hydrogens. Well, this fits this molecular formula here. And that is because this here, which we should be able to identify as 2-methylbutane, this 2-methylbutane is actually a structural, form a structural isomer of pentane here. Now, there's actually one more uh, structural formula of pentane of C5H12 and that is a compound known as isopropane isopentane uh, sorry however it also has a different name according to IUPAC rules and that is this molecule here Drawing all the H's here. That is this molecule here. <clears throat> now, so this is what we call isopropane. Iso, oh, I keep making that mistake. Isopentane. And it's more commonly known to IUPAC rules and A level chemistry students. One, sorry, I've got my hydrogen here. One, two, three, four, five carbons. C five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it fits our original molecular formula. And it's actually called dimethyl propane. Right here. It's called dimethyl propane. And you can see we have our two methyl groups on the center carbon atom, and so forth. Now, uh, before I get into naming some more structural isomers, I do want to go over some one common mistake that students first take a while to figure out. And that is, I'm going to draw a structural formula here. People will take 2-methylbutane, for example. When people are trying to figure out how many isomers there are of something, they will typically, you know, we'll, we'll use display formula. They'll typically think, 
Well, okay. We have our four carbons here. We have our four carbons here, and now the, if we have a methyl group here, uh, that's one structural isomer of pentane. How, if we have another methyl group here, that would just be the same because these are both identified as carbon two. But what if we put another methyl here? And this is the common mistake that some students make, and that is because this, in fact, just forms pentane. If you think about it, one, two, three, four, five carbons in a straight row. There's no methyl groups. This, in fact, just forms pentane. And it gets, some students may find this more confusing when they start drawing in skeletal formula. So say, for example, we have one, two, three, four. And they think, oh, wow, this is the first structural isomer of pentane of Cu5H12. So, is, are there any more I could have? Well, I can't have this one because this is common too, but I could have this one here, and that's actually incorrect, because that, again, just makes pentane. It just makes pentane. So, in fact, oh gosh, there are three isomers for C5H12, just pentane. Now, Let's look at let's look at hexane. C H just like to highlight everything in here. C five H fourteen. Just gonna look at hexane. Now, if you're feeling confident with this, you know you've seen you've seen what we've done with pentane. Try and pause the video here and see how many isomers of hexane you can find. Remember what not to do, and remember what to do. All right, so I'm going to first draw. I'm going to draw the first isomer of hexane, which should be the simplest. I'm going to draw all these in skeletal formula. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and the first isomer of C6H14 is hexane itself. Hexane. Now the You may have done these in a different order if you'd pause the video. But we're going to now how I like to do uh find out all the different structural isomers of a molecular compound or molecule. I like to eliminate one carbon at a time. So say we have hexane, we're gonna go down to pentane. One, two, three, four, five. Now, this only has five carbons, so we're going to need to see where we can place our methyl group to create six carbons in these 14 hydrogens. So, we could place a methyl group here to form two methyl pentane, or select the yellow pen here, or we could form. one here on the third carbon and form three methyl pentane and do remember you cannot put the methyl group on a carbon here or of this carbon here because that would be the same as two methyl pentane and if you put the methyl group here that would just have been hexane all right so here is our other um methyl pentane structural isomer of Hexane. So let's go down another carbon, shall we? Let's go down to four carbons. One, two, three, four. You got butane. Now, if we add one methyl to butane, we in fact only get uh, a C5H14 uh, molecular formula. So, if you think about it, we're going to have to draw two methyl groups here. Yeah, so, and the only places we can do this without forming pentane or without forming hexane are on the middle carbons here. Carbons two and three, or three and two, no matter either way you think about this. Hence, we're actually going to form 
two, three, dimethyl butane. Yeah. Now there's one last butane isomer, uh, structural isomer, C6H14, and it is actually the last um, isomer that is possible of hexane here. And that is, we're going to draw our four carbons, and we can actually have the two methyl groups on the one carbon here. We can have them on the one carbon here. So therefore we have our one, two, three, four, five, six carbons, C6, and on this one we're going to have three hydrogens, two, three. On here we're going to have no hydrogens, but on each of these we're going to have three. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On here we're going to have two hydrogens, nine, ten, uh, nine, ten, eleven, sorry. And here on our six we're going to have another three hydrogens, which Adds up to H14. And this, let me redraw this so it's a little bit uh, nicer for you guys. This is actually just called 2 2 dimethyl butane. And we're actually naming all these structures in accordance to IUPAC rules. So <laughs> now that I've shown you this, I'm going to give you three different. I'm going to draw three different structures, and I want you to draw one isomer, one structural isomer for each of the following structures I draw. So the first one I'm going to draw is this right here. Just going to put put those in a second. The second one I'm going to draw is this. And the third one I'm going to draw, throw a little bit of, sh of uh, variety into this, shall we, is this. And I'm actually going to give you the name of this. This is cyclobutane, and it's got C4H8, remember, because it's a alice cyclic, and alice cyclics typically have a CNH2N. Just sort of think about what... This general formula is similar to what other organic molecules might have this general formula. And yeah, so just pause the video here. See if you can draw at least one isomer for each of these compounds I've just drawn. So the first one we're going to go over here is you should have correctly identified as butane which is C4H10 and the I think what I think the only isomer you can actually structural isomer you can draw of butane I believe is this here sorry let me draw this a little bit better is actually methylpropane Methylpropane. You could have drawn it in displayed formula, like this. Like this here. And this is the one structural isomer you should have gone for this. Now, here we should have identified this as heptane. And this is C7H. Uh, 16. And how I work that out so quickly, obviously, is using the general formula of alkane, Cn, H2n, plus 2. So what I would have liked you guys to have done, following my uh, previous suggestion, is gone down one carbon. So we go down to hexane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now we know we need one methyl, so I'm just going to draw the one methyl here. Now you could have, in fact, drawn 
the one methyl uh, here, and that would have been fine as well. Or you could have gone down to even more successive, uh, sorry, uh, even lower uh, carbons, you know, to propane, pentane, sorry, and uh, draw on the structural isomers. There. I believe heptane has nine structural isomers. I'll uh, oh, rub that one out. Four, five, six. Just checking I do that correctly. And we should be able to identify this as 2 methyl hexane quite easily. All right, so this is the challenging one that I gave you guys to see if you can give a go. If not, don't worry, because I have definitely not covered anything like this in any of my videos. And this also leads on to a different kind of isomerism, but we won't get into the grits of that today. So from this cyclobutane, you would have wanted to made an alk alkene. Now an alkene has the same general formula, CnH2n. So, I mean, we've got our four carbons here, so one, two, three, four. Now, I know what you're saying, but this is butane. So it's obviously got C4H10, not C4H8. And you're forgetting, it's an alkene. So we, in fact, need to draw, you could have drawn it here, or here. as two possible structural isomers of cyclobutane. <coughs> now, and you would have obviously noticed because of this double bond, we've got two less hydrogens, so we have in fact got C4H8 uh, for both of them, C4H8. This is uh, butene, and this is but just butene would be fine, or butene was acceptable as well. Now I just want to quickly add something about stereoisomers which I will cover in a later video and this forming from here you can actually have two isomers of this. Crazy right? And we draw these in a little bit of a different way. We draw them like so. And possibly you're at this point of the video and you're thinking, I really have no idea what's going on with these, these stereoisomers. And that's okay because this video is not meant to cover them. So I'm not going to go too much further into this. Just know that these two compounds are in fact different, even though they both have the name butene. And possibly before the next video on isomers that I do, do some research into this, see if you can figure out why these are different. A little cute clue here, it might have something to do with this double bond here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.